Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'll show you how you can launch an AWS EC2 instance and now uh, we'll learn how you can connect it, connect to that instance as well. So basically EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud and it's a virtual machine that runs in AWS cloud and it is used for hosting applications, running scripts or setting up development environments or, or any kind of use case you might think of. All right, so that's basically a computer in your cloud. All right, so to make an EC2 instance, we can first head to EC2 uh service in our aws account for this also first of all you need to have an aws account so i have just made a free tier is aws account which has a uh, premium access for one year at no cost so you can also make a free account for the first year all right so now um i can search for ec2 here or I, or i can just head to ec2 from the dashboard and here I'll see the option for instances. So we have to basically build an instance. So I, if I go in the list of my instances, instances, I do not see currently running inst instances right now. So for building an instance, we can click on launch instance. And now we can name it anything. I'll just name it something like my web server or anything you want to name it. And then I can set up additional configuration for my EC2 instance. Now, first of all, it will ask me to select the OS for our image. So um, there's Amazon Linux, which is AWS Linux. So um, it's kind of lightweight, but I would recommend you to use Ubuntu because that's just more worldwide used. You can also use Windows by Microsoft and other OS settings. Um, I think Windows is also included in the free tier. Yeah, it is free and eligible. And you can also use Debian, which is another Linux distribution. All right, so I think that those are all the OS available. Mac OS will not be available in free tier. You need to upgrade to premium for that. All right, so I'll just select here Ubuntu, which is I think a standard for instances nowadays. And now I can select the machine image. This is basically the configuration of our system. So if you wanna, if you want a customized or co configured system model into yourself, you can select it from here. I'll just keep it. Uh, the default right now if you are if you are working on some llms or some machine learning models you can select uh these images which which are equipped with nvidia drivers because that would be more beneficial for your uh, machine learning training process all right so for this i have selected the standard ubuntu server 24.04 and now i can move down and select the instance type so instance type is basically the configuration of a system, of your system, basically the physical configurations that would be uh, equivalent to the cloud configuration. So if I select T2 micro, it will select, I think the basic configuration, the most basic configuration and T2 nano is even smaller than that with just 500 megabytes of memory. So T2 micro is a free day eligible instance type so i'll just select t2 micro here and there are uh, many many more instance type with a lot of complex uh, configuration and architecture you can also look upon that also also depends on your uh, application and the reason for hosting if you're hosting a normal web, web application i think t2 micro will be just fine all right so now we have uh, set up t2 micro here and now we can create a key pair here if you do not have one i currently have one but i'll show you how you can create a key pair this key pair can be used to connect to this instance through ssh if you are uh, connecting it through ssh using terminal or even if you are connecting it using vs code's extension like remote explorer these keys will be used there all right so i'll just create a new key pair and save it here i use the rs encryption method and i can name it anything i'll just name it key instance anything like that and i'll choose pem pem format because i want to connect it with open ssh after we create this instance all right so i'll just create a key pair here and now it will prompt me to download that key and i'll just download it wherever i want to and for later references all right so now moving on we get to the network settings and you can see we have two options here which is allow https and http traffic so we need to enable these if we are making this instance for a web service so this should be publicly access accessible and people should be able to send https and http request to our instance 
all right perfect so now we have configured the network as well and now uh, for the allow ssh traffic from you can set it to custom ips for your device if you want to connect but i'll just set it here anywhere because that anyways requires a key to be connected all right now we can configure the storage i'll just keep it as it is if you want to add more storage you can add it uh, you can add it by the add new volume button and now so i think we have configured our ec2 instance now we can launch this instance with the launch instance button and it will start launching the instance i think it has been created now if i head to my instances which would be right here view all instances or just head up to instances and i'll refresh it now so this is showing me that my instance is now active so great we have launched an instance now so now i'll tell you how you can connect this uh, connect to this instance on your browser itself so first of all just select this uh, instance and now click on connect then you can connect it using ec2 instance connect right here and now i can choose the username which is ubuntu by default um, so i'll just choose ubuntu and i'll just use connect using ec2 instance connect here which is already selected all right so now if i click on connect this should open another window another tab where my actual machine is present perfect so we can see that it has opened a terminal so this is basically the terminal of the instance which is running in aws cloud perfect and i can normally run commands right here like ls or i'll just run here touch and i'll create a anything like main.py it will create a main.py right here as you can see so this is basically our ubuntu system which is present on your aws ec2 instance perfect so now we have connected to our aws ec2 instance and we have learned how you can create an ec2 instance and also connect it using the browser itself that's it for the video and guys thanks for watching